Hey guys, it's Troy here, and today we are playing the brand new CTGP update that just dropped this week. We have one new track, Unfinished Mario Circuit, which we're playing right now, and then seven track updates on old existing courses, and those always excite me because whenever tracks get rehauled, it makes me happy, and especially when they're retros, and we had a couple new retros, ooh, nice night, and we had a couple new retros that, <laughs> I love this track, I can't even get my sentence out here. But uh, yeah, a couple new retro remakes, and one of them I'm extremely, extremely pleased with. It is uh, DS Mario Circuits. We're gonna be playing that one next. Get the Mario Circuits out of the way early. And this track's short and sweet, but it's got a lot of shortcuts. And hopefully we'll be able to take a couple coming up because we are far behind. Thank you, Invincibility Frames, for saving me from that bullet bill. Wow, 12th place. First to last, just like that. Um, perfect item, and now we're gonna take this shortcut, and we're able to maybe chain here. Yeah, I'm gonna chain, because I'm still in last, you know, and that is the perfect chain, 100% worth it. Even if we can't cut these last corners, we are gonna do this. We want to make sure we got that box. Okay, a bullet bill. Hmm, I do not know the bullet strategy on this course. There is a shortcut. I'm gonna see if the bullet can finish it right here. I'm gonna jump in this gap. Use the bullet, boom! Okay, that worked. That worked really well. Let's see how long this bullet lasts. Mm, not too great. But we've got a mushroom, and maybe we can use this to our advantage. Beautiful. Second place. Oh, that was a close race. I feel like this is gonna be such a good track because of how tight the races are gonna be. I actually really enjoy it. Very impressed with it. And now we're gonna play all the rehauls. And out of all eight courses that are in this update, this one is my favorite one. I played them all right before I started this room. And I'm just so happy that we finally have a top-notch DS Mario circuit. This is one of my favorite Mario circuits out of every single one in the series. If not my favorite, top three for sure. And uh, yeah, the previous versions in CTGP always had something missing, but this one's dynamic. It's got a couple extra added shortcuts and they changed the way the terrain functions. They made the track fit Mario Kart Wii physics more. I really like the boost panel they put at the beginning. I think it works well there. And they made the terrain not as harsh. So you can do little sand shortcuts, cut them inside. The Magic Cruiser actually could do a couple of little shortcuts here too, which is funny. And yeah, overall just really enjoyable to drive. They smoothed out all the edges on this part right here. Normally, this was very bumpy in the last version of the course. So I'm super stoked about it. I'll be picking this track loads during uh, CT Worldwide's. Let's uh, do that. And always cut this inside if you can. And then on the left there, you can go through that bush if you have a mushroom. Okay, so we have a little bit of a breakaway right now. I'm gonna throw this back. And you can cut this really tight too. Cause when you're in off-road, you can actually cut things even tighter cause you're going slower, you know? It's all about your drift, is all about your ratio to your speed as well. So like even though the Magic Cruiser has a really, really lackluster drift stat, it doesn't feel too badly because it's slow enough also, so you're still able to get around the corners. While the Spear is extremely fast and has a bad drift stat on top of it, so you can really feel the drift stat when you're going around the corners with that thing. Luckily it has inside drift, so it keeps it relevant for sure. Okay, there's a blue shell. I don't think that I'll be able to be in first after this, we'll see though. Yep, there's Pepe. I'm okay taking second, I just gotta make sure I get second. I just don't wanna sacrifice any more positions. Okay, second place again, we'll take it. Really fun course, and I wouldn't change anything. I'm so impressed with that one. Next, we're gonna play N64 Chocolate Mountain, which was an old, old retro, and this rehaul is very similar to the one we just played, DS Mario Circuit. Updated textures, better uh, better ramps, and I think there might have been a boost panel added or something like that. Oh, there's a zipper ramp, that's what it was. So yeah, the old Coco, or Choco Mountain, I always call it Coco Mountain. The old Choco Mountain, like, it had some weird chocolate bar scenery inside the actual tunnel park, the very, very short tunnel this track has, and it just looked kind of cheap. It didn't It didn't look, it was right in here, if you guys remember, it was right here. So the, the new version doesn't have that, instead it's just got a shadow, and the track in general, more smooth, 
prettier, better functioning ramps, and they got rid of all the jank, so I'm I'm happy with this one as well. They also added a wall at the end, so you can't uh, fall down anymore. And this is gonna make dodging the boulders much, much easier as opposed to uh, before where, you know, the boulders fell on the main part of the course. You did not have much room and much time to make a decision on whether or not you should try to go around them or just take them uh, straight on, you know? That was not good. That was, that was not pretty. Losing my bullet is not really a big deal. I'm probably gonna get another one right here. Ooh, that's really good. I have no... I have no desire to get into the front early. If anything, I'd rather just keep waiting and holding this and then uh, trying to make a run for the front towards the end. I'm trying I'm trying to uh, bag it out right now. I'm seeing if it's gonna work on this course. It's my first time playing this new version of Chocolate Mountain Online. First time playing every single one of these online. I love to just play them blind and record it and see how it goes, because like I'm more easily wowed by the things that happen, you know? If I don't know what to expect, I can have more genuine reactions. All right. Between the bananas, I'll use it here because the shot can happen any second. And yes, we got it. Nice prediction. And that is much more important than dodging the first shot. It's all about being in the front at the end of the race. So. That's why holding your items till lap 3 is an extremely common strategy among, to among uh, top players, you know? <laughs> well, I already burned two mushrooms. I did not expect a blue shell that early, so we do not have any defense for another blue shell. The good news is, is our lead is tremendous. And we're going to be able to hold this even if a blue shell comes. The only thing we got to watch out for is these boulders. These boulders are uh, pretty feisty. And uh, yeah, much easier than before. Those things were an extreme problem in the old version of this course. So now we're not gonna have to worry about them nearly as much when we're front running on lap three because before I always feared this section coming up. You know, I was never comfortable at the end of races on this track. It's gonna be different now. It's gonna be a lot more enjoyable. I think I'll be picking this course as well. So happy with the first three tracks. These three are incredible. And we still got five more. So uh, buckle up, we're just getting started. Cherry Blossom Garden. Super excited that Shadow updated this. I enjoyed the version of this course prior, and I didn't even think it necessarily needed an update, so I'm excited to see what the changes are. So far, I see some visual enhancements, and I think the track has been changed on the sides where the uh, the upwards portion is, where you can kind of get above the track and hang out on the railing for a bit. That looks different. Oh, this is different for sure. The texturing here and the surface feels much more like Sherbetland off-road. Yeah, I don't have a speedometer at the moment, but it does not feel like normal at all. Um, we'll go up this thing, go like this. I'm not going to risk the shroomless cut on lap one. I'll, I'll probably go for it on lap two. I just didn't have good alignment there. Okay. And this is a 270 turn right here, so we can get three mini turbos. Missing my slip drifts today. Missing my slip drifts. Nice dodge by Nate. We'll head over here. I think the strat is probably to take the top and then come down here, get the item. Depends if you need the item or not, you know? Got him, got him. And there is a little shortcut right here. You can end up in this little uh, tunnel by skipping the grass off-road, cut through it. Very useful. That's my favorite shortcut to do on this level. And then another thing you can do is there's a ramp on the right right here. You can't really see it. It's very small, and you can skip this corner that I just went around right here. I'm going to go for Shroomless right now. Got it. Oh, let's go. Okay. I actually want to do this course for Troy versus Custom Track, especially now that it has this update. Ooh, when you get shocked, it's like a pretty pink color. Very cool, very cool. And we're not going to be in first after this, but we have one more lap. This track is like a three minute course. Oh, uh, you know what? We are in first, because of the shock. Did not expect that. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Um, I'll go up here to, I missed the item box. So stupid, so stupid. Terrible mistake. And I'm paying the price. Well, I'm just gonna hope there's a blue shell now so I don't feel as bad about that mistake. It shows how important every single item set is on lap three.
There's a blue shell. Okay, I feel a little better now. Got him. And now I am in third place with a Mega Mushroom. I'm gonna use it here. And not go for the shortcut. Got it. Yes! Yes! Let's go, dude! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Oh, nice maneuvering. Let's go! Oh, Shock Dodge Paradise happening right here on this fun room. These are my first times playing the courses online. I'm getting seconds, I'm getting first. Nowhere near the bottom of the pack. What a great start to this GP. We're halfway done, we got four more races, and we just played four phenomenal courses. CTGP is looking up right now, guys. Lots of big improvements with the, uh, the track selection, and that's the most important part of it. Okay, so right now we have not secured the win. We're only 15 points ahead, still got four more races. All right, so for Canyon Run, the big thing I noticed was that, you know, it's smoother. Otherwise, it feels pretty much the same. I hit some off-road just now. I'm gonna chuck this forward. Oh, that was a sick throw. Nate, get wrecked, poor guy. <laughs> I was just throwing that into the crowd. I had no idea who I was gonna try to hit with that. Wow. Right place at the right time. If I was just one second faster, I was gonna be caught in that explosion. Instead, I'm uh, I'm in it to win it. Where are we going now? Where are we going? We're going this way. I'm not gonna get too too risky on lap one. I don't wanna fall too far behind. Actually, you know what? I wanna go for this shortcut. I changed my mind. Uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Where's this gonna respawn me? If that shock didn't happen, I think I had a fair shot to make it. And you know what? This is actually a really generous respawn point, so uh, we take this. We take this. Oh, should have went for the items. And uh, yeah, in the middle of the pack, as we complete lap one here in one or two turns, we go up here. And yeah, track is so much more enjoyable to drive because of the smooth, the smoothness improvement. Otherwise, it looks pretty much the same. So if you liked the old Canyon Run, you're bound to like the new one because uh, they didn't really mess with the track layout whatsoever. It's gonna be easier to hit those miniature boost panels now. Ah. Uh, wow, I thought I'd hit Milk for sure with those throws. Those are some anger throws. <laughs> those are definitely some anger throws. We got a draft. And we somehow managed to snag that box. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna use this now. Try to get the box, we got it. Because I'm in seventh, I can't risk to hold it and try to predict a dodge when I'm so far behind, you know? And I'm gonna use this as well because a shot can happen at any moment. I'm just gonna keep spamming this. And just like that, we're in third place. I don't have an item, but all we need is one blue shell now. That red shell can do some damage. Yes, got him. We're in second place. Can we get another first? I want to get a little win streak going, you know? Oh, we can do a shortcut with this. We can definitely do a shortcut. Oh, that would have worked. You know what? We just needed like two more shrooms. I, it's definitely a three-shroom shortcut. And the good thing is it gave me a favorable, favorable respawn, so I'm in fifth place still, and like we could still get third this race or something. And that would be really good. fifth right now and another red shell oh almost got shocked in the box if I would have got shocked in the box pulled a fifth place mega could have gotten an insanely good spot no okay so the first four races went insanely well for us and uh, all came to a crashing halt because now the GP's close. Let's see who won the race. Mr. E with the comeback. This is close. Three races left. So this one, Forest Creek, I actually don't know what the updates are because I've only played the version of this track that was in CTGP prior like maybe three or four times, not many times. It's not a track that got picked too much, and I don't play custom track worldwide as often. I'm more of a retro custom track sort of guy, as you can tell based on my content. But um, yeah, still one of the newer courses in CTGP, and I think the big thing I gotta do 
is just stay in the front and follow the leader, you know? It's a cool track, though. It's got lots of low tricks. It's got a weird layout. The most insane part is definitely right here, like this corner. If you're not up here, you can't really see where to go, so you gotta get to the top quick, or it's pretty much blind. Got him out of the way. It's only three laps, so it's a quick course for uh, a custom track. Custom tracks are normally a lot more, you know, they're normally a lot more intricate. All right. Got a lot of air right there. No. Dang, I was really, really hoping I could have saved that mushroom because a blue shell can happen any moment. And I want to be in first right now. Okay. I'm figuring out the layout of this course. <laughs> That's a super clutch pull. There it is. I did not manage to hit him, but I did hit the player behind me, it looks like, which is good. Wow, he must have messed up and hit something in first because uh, just like that, back in the front. The big thing now is you just gotta hope for not like a second blue shell. That's what can really ruin you. I'm throwing everything back. I'm playing dirty for sure. We got one more corner. And... Nice, some redemption after that last race on Canyon Run. All right, so this track was kind of infamous for having a lot of lag before it just got updated. And I always thought that it should be removed from CTGP because it did not function well, but it looks like instead it got updated and they removed a lot of the enemies and made it a more simplistic course in general due to the fact that, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to play when they're, ooh, nice snipe, nice snipe. But yeah, it's a lot easier to play when there's less stuff running around the course. It kind of takes away from the chaotic nature of it so it feels like the track is, you know, it's, it's very, very, you know, <laughs> simple. And eh, simple is not a bad thing. I think it's fine for what it is. And it's definitely better than how it was before. So it's five laps, even though we just got blued at the end of lap two. It's, uh, it's not the end of the world. Plenty of time. We're not even halfway through it right now. I want to get a good item. I'm going to, I'm only in third. I thought I was in fourth. Thank you. Good pull, good pull. I'm gonna save this, honestly. Now I'm gonna use it. And there's already been two blue shells. We still have two more laps. I'm gonna drop to second. I'm slowing down a bit. Oh, I missed that item box. I was trying to hit that item. Lawrence in the quacker, what a beast. Oh, we got a mushroom. Oh, we went inside the fake item box. This is a battle. Okay, it's close. What, he made me lose my shell, that sucks. Now I have to really hope I don't get redded. I was gonna try to snipe him. I was gonna try to side, side snipe him. That would have been crazy. I think we got third place. And Mr. E got second. He was the one who was challenging us for the gold in this GP. We have one more race before it all it all ends. Uh, it's close, guys. It's close. Let's see if we can pull it out. And going into the last race, we have a six-point lead. It is a two-way battle right now, and we're going to be playing GU Village. It got a couple uh, collision fixes with certain walls, so that track is the least changed, but it's a really good course nonetheless. Final race, three laps. It's a pretty long one, so... Got some time, even if things go wrong at the beginning, which is nice. That last track was way scarier. <laughs> if that was the last one, I would not feel confident right now. <laughs> but I feel pretty good about this one. I think I can uh, hold on to the first place. Six point lead is uh, a lot to work with.
Dude, I did not get the air pocket. Now I'm falling behind. That sucks. Now that I get the trick here. And go for the top route. We can get a little trick here. Oh, I did not get one. There we go. Get one there. And the big fix with this level was right in that tunnel right there. You were able to actually go through the tunnel to the left, use a mushroom, shoot through the wall, and finish the track earlier and respawn at the top over here. It was such a weird glitch. People were doing it on time trials. So the world record for this course the first couple weeks was with the glitch, but now with the update, ain't gonna work anymore, which is, uh, you know, it's definitely for the best. That wouldn't have been a, that would have been a little cheap for online races too. See if we can get this this time. Dude, it happened again. And I did not do that turn correctly at all. I'm losing spots. Not good. Okay. Lawrence. What a beast. That's a nice pull. I'm honestly just going to use this right here. Despite my lackluster gameplay on the first two laps, we're in a pretty good spot. Oh, Bob, how did you dodge that? What the heck? Playing it pretty safe right now. Such a good pull. Such a good pull. Nice. Okay, we're in fourth. And what are we gonna pull? That saved me, dude. Saved me. Yes, a ground mushroom. Let's go. Okay, we're at the end. Such a good pull. And I threw all my greens. I managed to hit his back trail and that will be enough to win the GP. What a close finish. This track always gives good races. It's like the new Concord Town. I'm not even kidding. One of my top five favorite courses in CTGP for original designs. And it was a close finish. Ended up, ended up with 92 points in total. And I must say, very good CTGP update yet again. I'm looking forward to more track updates and we might be playing these again on uh, Flounderfest versus Enmead because uh, that was fun the first time last month and we'll see if Nick can uh, keep up on the custom tracks. All right, thank you for watching. Enjoy Funky Kong dancing and peace.